So I'm a personal big fan of text effects and I've had a lot of text effects videos in my past, but never have I went ahead and just gathered all the coolest ones and just kind of go over them and you know, have a nice little like bookmark this one, you know? And another thing is guess what is on sale? Just guess, it's the everything pack. Do not forget to check out the everything pack. If you guys do not know what it is, all 28 of my custom made products that you get on that one purchase plus all future products free. And it's also 30% off right now, okay? So yeah, I'm not kidding. It's literally right now, first link. Okay, so the first one is a pixel text effect. Start with writing your text out, then highlight it all and add a warp to it. Person, I'm gonna actually choose arch lower. After apply a negative bend just to about your liking. Now make your text a smart object, then go to filter, pixelate, mosaic, and add 10 to 15 squares or you can of course change it later if you guys want to because that's smart optic does then go to your adjustments and choose threshold and you are good to go next is a distress text technique with a few variations with your text layer make it a smart object and head over to filter blur gallery and choose field blur here you want to add three to five points of various different blur amounts by moving the inner circle to the left then press OK once you guys are all good to go. Now control click on your text layer and your background layer to select both of them. Then use control plus J to duplicate your layer and then control E to merge all your layers. Then go to filter, filter gallery. Then under your texture, choose grain. Here you wanna have 60, 90 on vertical and there you go. And just for a little quick variation, when you're on your merge background layer, if you wanna try a different effect, you can go to filter, pixelate, color halftone, at 8, 20, 20, 20, and zero. Press okay and it's another effect. Up next is a weaving text effect. With your text layer already written out, take a sort of thin size brush and create a nice line stroke around the text. After you're done, make a layer mask for your brush layer. Now I want you guys to hold control and select the thumbnail of your text layer to grab the selection. Then I want you to select back on your brush layer layer mask with a small black brush and use it to erase a few parts where the stroke goes over the text to make it feel like it's weaving through it do this enough times and you just got this really cool look so the next one's probably the most new friendly and kind of the coolest head over to unsplash.com or any this is not a sponsor or any texture website and save a nice texture then i want you guys to place it inside photoshop in a 4k document and save the document under a place you can of course find it after then with your text layer make it a smart object and head over to filter distort displace the table settings that pop up actually control the amount of distortion so be sure to play with these every now and again but for me i'm going to do 15 and 5 and press ok afterwards it's going to prompt you to choose your texture this is where of course you want to choose it and what will happen is it will immediately grab the look of the texture for a nice quick text effect gradient stroke effect is next Start with your text layer and make it a smart object. Then head to filter, blur, Gaussian blur at about 20 pixels. Of course, I'm in a 4K document, so you might need to adjust accordingly. However, then you wanna add a gradient map that is black on the left and white on the right. Then I want you guys to actually alternate black and white anchors until you get something like this. Then of course, when you guys are done with that, the effect is actually done, but if you wanna go ahead and add another gradient map to add some color in there, you can totally do that. This next one is a simple way to add text around an object. Start with your object person already cut out then hold control and select the thumbnail of the cutout now for some if your photo is already cut out you're good to go but since i actually use a layer mask to cut it out i'll have to select that instead to grab the selection after i want you to go to select modify expand and expand about 20 to 40 pixels then press m on your keyboard to give you guys the option that when you right click on your canvas you can choose make work path then do two to five pixels and press ok then i want you guys to just take your text tool and select on the path and start writing Super freaking easy. All right, gradient bleed time. First, of course, I wanna make sure you guys start off with a black background for the instance. After, let's go ahead and start with a gradient map under adjustments and build it as followed. White anchor on the left, black anchor on the right, then one more white anchor in the middle. Then we'll add our rainbow of colors of our choice. I'm gonna do blue with like a lighter blue next to it, purple, yellow, orange to the left. And then on the right middle anchor, I'm gonna do like a mint blue, purple, pink, and brown, because why not? Then I want you guys to write your text in black and drag it below the gradient layer and it'll actually end up turning white after. Now make your text layer a smart object and head over to filter, blur gallery and choose iris blur or really any blur. Now I want you guys to of course increase the blur amount and move your blur bubble and the mesh of colors will actually come out. It's just that easy. Just look, super cool. Next is a bleeded text effect. First I want you to of course take a stack of words like this and control click on both these text layers and convert them into a smart object. Then go to filter, 
blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it at about 10 to five pixels and just press okay. Go back into your filters and choose blur. And this time radial blur, seven, spin, and your best setting. Now go to your adjustments and choose threshold and the effect will now show. You can move your threshold to the left to have less bleed happen or right to actually have more exaggeration occur. Personally, I think this looks really cool in like a t-shirt. For my type texture people, I have a super, super simple one for you. Just write out a word in a sans serif style font. I'm currently using Susi or Su Sus. Yeah. Then I want you guys to simply duplicate the word and erase one letter at the back or the front and do this until you either have one letter left or a few but do the same thing going in the opposite direction. And it turns into this really cool fun effect in a few seconds. Really, really simple. And I just think looks really freaking cool as type texture if you're that kind of person. Stroke bleed is up next. Start with writing out your word in separated letter text layers. Or you can do this in like a with a full word for the effect, but you know, either way. Then on one of your letters or whatever your text layer is, make your fill 0%, not your opacity, your fill. Afterwards, double click on the layer and add in a inner stroke at about two to four points. Now hold Hold Alt and Shift and press the arrow key in any direction to make a few duplicates. On your first layer, make sure to make your fill 100% again and then you guys are good. On the topic of stroke, let's do a stroke fill effect. Start with your text layer and make a duplicate immediately. Now hide the duplicated layer and on the original layer, make your fill 0%. Double click on the original layer and add in an inner stroke with a color of your choice. Probably about two to four points again. Then unhide your duplicated layer and make your color the same color as your stroke. Then add a layer mask to the duplicated text layer and then just erase with a nice big soft brush and it just looks really freaking cool. I, I've, I've been using this for like at least 10 years. So hopefully you guys can just take these fun little text effects and just it just becomes like your, you know, Bible of cool text effects. And until then, I will talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out from my last video in this apartment. And don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Let them much love, peace, and enjoy your day.